Previously on Dad's Academy. Relax, T. Get you home before your pumpkin. Hey, man. Uh, uh, Lucas Hewitt. Recovery isn't always smooth. So, when are we going to ask to go back to dancing? I guess you'll tell me when I'm ready. That was perfect. I knew you could do it. You're the little girl on the train, bro. High pitched voice, have to spy on guys in the bathroom. That's you, right? Ever even kissed a guy? You yeah, haven't, have you? We should get going. We'll miss curfew. I loved my first pair of point shoes so much, I took them to bed with me. Before my first class, I spent hours carefully preparing my feet and the shoes. But nothing could have prepared me for how much it hurt to dance on point. It's like the most intense pain. Blisters, blood, totally inhumane. And then, one day, you get used to it. I know you can't have forgotten how vastly superior I am to you. Who's better, me or Christian? You. Oh. Which just goes to show, you can talk yourself into anything. Unadulterated, let me die right now because I will never be this happy ever again, geniosity. I saw them last year in the States. I think they played better then. That is so pretentious. You can't tell me magic didn't just happen here tonight. Don't it bad. Not bad. Better than not bad. Say it. No, I am not kissing you again until you admit that was the most amazing music ever played in the entire world. The entire year. Katrina, please don't let us disturb you. Katrina! This is well outside curfew. And don't think it didn't escape my attention that you skipped afternoon classes today. It was just jazz. I thought you'd approve, Miss Rain. The day is getting close when you'll discover that the joke is increasingly on you, Katrina. This is Petra Hoffman. On exchange from the Berlin Ballet School, your new roommate. Petra, ignore everything Katrina tells you. Welcome to the National Academy. Standard issue. Teachers in Germany are the same. Huh. Well, Petra Hoffman, welcome to Chateau Karamakov. Just throw the clothes off that bed, it's yours. Down if you really hate them. You can tell everything about someone by their feet. How they stand in the world. How grounded they are. How they dance. I think they're beautiful. <laughs> they're just snaps. I collect love. I mean, more like signs of love. Public displays of affection. Sweet, well, you'll have to give me a copy of the photo you took before. My boyfriend will love it. So that was your boyfriend? So was it worth it? Let me think. 
15 awesome bands and the opportunity to spend it with thousands of people who didn't talk about ballet once the entire day. Yes, it was my it. Really? Miss Rain trapped me after jazz. She knows you skipped. Yeah, I spoke to her already. You know, she watched Lucas and Ike sing for a very long time before she interrupted. Do you think that's weird? She did the same with me and Isabel. It was kind of creepy. Sitting right here. Sorry, it was a long time ago and I can barely remember it. Good. Yep. What? Ah, sorry. Uh, Petra Hoffman, German Exchange, Tara Webster and Ethan, my brother. Hi. I love birds. What's with the photo? Ah, if you don't like it, please erase it. Petra's in two PDAs. Char. Your favourite thing, public displays of affection. Just the photos. I actually really like it. <laughs> now that you're the Pash expert and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina, my office now. Great. You're on shaky ground, Katrina. If I hadn't known you so long... Don't treat me any differently because you know my family. I was going to say that I know you well enough to realise that the tension won't change your behaviour. One of our ex-students, Gus Walker, is doing some interesting community work. You'll be spending this afternoon and the next four Saturday afternoons helping him out. Couldn't I just clean out the shoe lockers instead? You do know this is just bar, right? Hi, I'm Petra. You don't have to wear point shoes during warm-up. It's how we'll dance when we're professionals. So why not always do it this way? Your roommate is taking Abigail's spot. <laughs> Blood sport. I like it. Those hips in the divan, Abigail. Don't lose your line. Lovely Petra, good work. Stretch it out and come into the centre. Abigail. I spoke with Dr. Wicks this morning. She thinks you should restrict yourself to the bar for now. But I'm fine. You're still getting your strength back. Sit this one out. Petra's lines. Nothing is broken. It appears effortless. Lovely. Lovely training. Petra has the most incredible extensions. Don't you think she's incredible? Incredible. You know, she actually made me remember why I'm here. Hey, you're not busy, are you? Not anymore. I'm thinking about my show, real, but I need a dancer. Do you know any? I might do. Yeah. Do you remember that piece that Isabel did for my contemporary showcase? Wait, are you only using me because Isabel's away on exchange? Is she? I'm using you because you're perfect. Really? Yes. <laughs> I'll come back later. Hey, no, 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 come on in. You remember the curry, right? It was a while ago. Maybe you should get someone else. No, wait, I remember it. Well, good, you're both cast. My gorgeous sweet Juliet and difficult brooding Romeo. Perfect.
noises, no sudden movements. Hey. Mmm, vintage, huh? I wonder how much these will be at the pawn shop. Give them back or I'll crunch your bones. You can't touch me. Don't try me. Bad things happen to bad little boys. Lucky for me, I'm a girl then. Really? You must be Cat. So, Scout, you gonna give Cat a science back? Hilarious. Five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. Not bad? We killed it. Okay, you were better than I expected. Better than anyone at your fancy ballet school? What makes you think I go to a fancy ballet school? You can tell by looking at you. And Gus told us before you got here. Scout's been nagging me all morning to get you to teach him some. What do you call it, Scout? Proper girls ballet. Apparently I'm too male. <laughs> Will you? Are you serious? Good. Tara, get closer. Christian, can you pull her in? Okay, cut. Tara, what's with you? You're all stiff. I'm still getting used to it. Well, let Christian lead you. He knows it. Fine. Okay, from the top. My brother used to say that our old dog Ziggy could read minds. Hello? Hello? Be very quiet. Is anyone there? Thought so. Saturday afternoons, everyone tends to get out of here, which isn't so great if you've just arrived, right? Sorry, I'm, I'm Samuel Lieberman. I'm Kat's friend. Hi. You're the new girl, obviously. Uh, cake? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> My uh, grandmother bakes a chocolate each week. I usually give most of it to Kat. The girl is a cake. She seems fun. <laughs> Ugh, fiend. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, I'm not... I'm not usually like this, it's just around cats and, and pollen and <laughs> uh, dogs. Which doesn't make any sense. Right. Uh, it could get ugly, I should, should probably get going. <laughs> You're scaring away the cute boys. Second position. Tondu and La. Tondu and close. Good. Couple more lessons and we'll make ballet bots out of a lot of you. Okay, guys. I'll catch you next week, hey? Come back up. Is that what you are? Hardly. Then what are you? Good question. I bet you're not as good as the guys in Dance Explosion. <laughs> that lame TV show. As if. They're amazing. They're all right. You can see for yourself. If you want, I can make a call. Really? Yeah, the producer's an old friend of the family. Don't get their hopes up. Well, these kids do it tough. No, really, it's, it's fine. Liz, it's Kat. 
Yeah, look, I've got a bunch of dance freaks that would kill to come to a taping if you've got room. Tomorrow? Amazing, I owe you one, thank you. Uh, how does tomorrow 10 o'clock sound? Okay, guys, I'll get the bus, but I need you all to get permission. That means signatures. When have I ever dropped you? All right. Thought you guys were getting along better these days. It's got nothing to do with that. You know what? I've got enough stuff. So... But we haven't done a full take yet. Yeah, well, I'll just use what I got. Thanks for your help. Me too. So I'll just, I'll just go. Hey, how was your lovebird afternoon? Rudely interrupted. How was your enforced slavery? Surprisingly enjoyable. I thought you hated kids. Shows how little you know about me. Uh... Who stole my sheets? Uh, oh, no. Um, no. She was lost. I couldn't leave her alone. You're a rule breaker. I'm really not. Petra, you've just gone up a notch in my books. Don't fight it. You, on the other hand, you cannot keep a dog here. We have to find his family. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bad idea. I'll see you later. Bye. I didn't know you liked dogs. They're loyal. And mute. <laughs> yeah, he's hungry. Oh, so I'm going to ask if they've got any spare sausage at the cafe. Oh, no doubt another psycho calling. I still don't understand why it had to be my number on the fly. Nice dog. He's Australia. We're looking for his family. Did you want something? No, oh, I was... I was just thinking. We don't talk anymore. We never talk. I'm busy, Christian. What, right, you're blowing me off already. I thought we were meant to be getting along nowadays. Do you have to work at being annoying, or is it just a natural talent? Okay, so, not another psycho, rather the legitimate owners of Lady Curlington. They're coming for her right away. Who would call a dog that? Um... Where is she? Guys, where's the dog? Um. Ziggy! Ziggy! Hi. Oh. 
Right. Yes, right. I completely spaced. Just. Oh, I'm on my way. Sorry, Petra. And the smirk. That's really annoying. I smirk. And your mole. What is that meant to be anyway? It just. It just sits there. Well, I don't think I can change that one. Sorry. Oh, and you've always got an answer for everything, even if it's just your smirk. smirk? Yeah, exactly. I'll get him. Come here, boy. Come here. It's a girl. Here, here, girl. Come here, Ziggy. Come here. Come on, grab her. Ziggy! Oi! No, don't go there. Do not go there. Come here. Sorry, there was this dog called Lady Curlington, but we called her Ziggy, and she went missing, and we tried to find her, and we just couldn't find her. It was total chaos. You promised. I'll call the Academy. They can find you another punishment. I can't risk these kids with someone they can't trust. The first time I went on point, I didn't realize how much I cheated my technique. You can hide things in flats, but when your entire body weight is resting on two toes, there's no room for faking it. Hey, where'd you go? Don't ask. Your weaknesses are on display. Hey, you guys should check this out. It actually turned out surprisingly well. It never happened. <laughs> so you two kissed and made up yet? And all the groundwork you thought you'd done unravels in an instant. <laughs> 